Are you still not having VAR? I'll, ne I'll never have it. Not while there's a hair on my head. <laughs> Um, <laughs> even Wayne Rooney's waving, isn't he? He's, he's kind of glad he's in the championship. They haven't got it. Big Sam. Yeah. Lots, lots oh. of coaches and players are now getting frustrated with it. I think for for the obvious reasons we've talked about so many times. Mm. It, it's it's the game we love, and we don't want to see the problems that it's causing. It's chaos. Yeah, chaos. Well, I think the. I mean, we're, we're not uh, planning to talk about VAR. No. We, we talked about it yesterday, but just very quickly. I mean, I always thought they're never going to get rid of it, but I'm actually starting to think, you know, they might just actually do that. They might, or they might keep it in a form where it's, it's not going to be used to analyse every single goal because that's the big thing that people are talking about. It's the one thing I bang on about, which is that moment for players and supporters alike when a goal goes in where you don't know whether to celebrate or not and then you, that euphoric moment's gone, which is the emotional aspect of football is why we all love it and why I, well, why I love it, I'll speak for myself. As a, as a young boy going to watch Liverpool with my dad at Anfield, that was the moment that got mm. me, the goal going in. Mm. And as a player... I can't even think what it'd be like to now. Because as a player, you, the only thing you sometimes looked at, if you thought I might be off, you have a quick look across, but the flag's down, you know, you're yeah, done. That's it, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you're right. It's, uh, it has changed it and not for the better.